And I'm talking to trainer Dwayne Marfizi. You might recognize that name as he is the conditioner of Mystical Shark, the winner of today's second elimination heat of the Little Brown Jug. And Dwayne, some people call you Dewey. I guess yeah. that's your friends, but I'm going to take liberty here and call you Dewey as well. Um, there's a lot of names that are high profile in our sport and very easily recognized. Although some people say, Dwayne Marfizi, Dwayne Marfizi, you've been associated with a lot of good horses, but how did you get your start? Uh, I started in the Bill Robinson stable and uh, worked there for about 10 years and uh, went to New Jersey with horses. And then I hooked up with uh, Monty Gelrod and stayed with him, associated with him down in Show Place Farm. What did you learn from the master, Bill Robinson? Oh, uh, the key. The key is knowing the horse, common sense, you know, keeping your eye on the horse, having them happy, and uh, conditioning. He's a great conditioner. Well, you came here today, and coming into this race, did you think you would say that you would be winning that particular race, or is that something that surprised you as much as it did some of the fans? No, Mystical Shark's a good horse. I mean, we conditioned him for the jug. Uh, last uh, Friday, he had a prep in the sire stakes, so it was a, we didn't hurt him that hard. The horses went by, but... Uh, we didn't ask a lot of them because we knew we were coming to the jug and uh, we were on a mission today. Well, he must have shown some of the sports insiders something because earlier today I had an interview with uh, Brian Gordon and he gave him out as an upset. He said, look for big things from this horse. So for people that watch horses seem to know and he made a good presentation of himself somewhere and certainly in that heat. However, coming back for a second heat, tough for a horse to be brilliant in two heats? Yeah, it is. I don't know what to expect out of him. Uh, he likes the action, though, so hopefully with the draw, things go well. Is there ever a worry about what elimination division you were in? For instance, horses that were in the first elimination division have more time to recuperate than those in the third elimination division. You're right in the middle. Yeah, that's a good spot. I mean, but generally the uh, double heats, they give you plenty of time. And uh, I like, I'd rather be in a late spot because then the horse doesn't forget what he's here for. And if they're in early, they almost cool out and relax and... I think that's a good point. They might relax, think, hey, I'm done, and yeah. it might be hard to get them stirred back. Good point, good point. So here he is um, when he came out of the race. How do you think he came out of today's? Good. He uh, went to the winter circle good and uh, come back with his ears up, and uh, he's been drinking good, so we'll see what happens. Well, you talked about the key is keeping them happy. You can't do that alone. What kind of a staff do you have? How many? We have uh, six caretakers, maybe seven. I've got uh, three assistant trainers. And uh, we get done early, we start early. They're on a good feed program where they're fed at the same time every day. And every afternoon we're out of there around one o'clock and they get all whole afternoon to sleep and rest. That also sounds like a Bill Robinson theory. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right, now today you're watching as well as competing. What did you think of the three heats? And uh, give us a little synopsis. Well, I've been watching these Colts all year and Blissful Hall is uh, the one to beat. And, uh, He's been super. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Just to touch on a, a little sour note, Heartbeat Mendale in the third elimination. Yeah, I expected big things out of him. I, I haven't had a chance to talk to Jack yet because I came back with the horse, but uh, I'm heading over there to find out what happened. All right, well, we're going to let you head over there and get busy and wish you all the luck in the, well, what might be the final heat. All right, thanks very much. Back over. Thank you very much, Trish. We do have